In a really bizarre twist of events, researchers might have actually discovered something that was just science fiction 120 years ago. And actually science fiction that we're all familiar with. Here we're talking about invisibility. But more specifically, the science fiction novel from 1897 by the famous H.G. Wells. The famous Invisible Man that's been consistently remade into several movies pretty much every few decades turned out to be not so science fiction-y after all. And so, hello in full person, this is Anton. In this video we're going to discuss an absolutely groundbreaking study that actually discovered something by using theoretical predictions from optics when it comes to various types of skin. And specifically, they discovered a technique that turns skin invisible or essentially transparent, allowing us to see through the skin into the body itself. But more importantly, this actually applies to pretty much any tissue, making this an incredible discovery in the medical field. And so let's actually discuss what's happening here and how this was achieved and why this is technically absolutely brilliant. Although ironically, if you read the novel, surprisingly, it's actually done in an extremely similar way. And it basically has something to do with the refraction index of various materials. So when it comes to refraction, that's of course the same principle that produces the effects inside this prism. It essentially scatters the light when it enters certain media. And so in optics, it's essentially a kind of a number that indicates by how much the light is going to bend. And while well, one of the reasons our body is not transparent and you cannot see through it is really because of all of the scattering that's done by various types of fats, fluids, cells, proteins and all kinds of materials with different refraction indices that are all placed inside our tissues, inside our organs and inside our bodies. In other words, because there is so much mixed material inside of us and it all has different refractive indices, we generally cannot see through ourselves and are thus not invisible. But when it comes to diffraction, we can technically use math to calculate how certain wavelengths are going to be shifted and diffracted when they enter certain materials. And so, for example, when light enters this prism, we can definitively discover by how much it's going to scatter in various directions, or even if this material is going to appear opaque and not transparent. And while a while back the researchers behind the recent study, the study by Ji Hao Wu and his team, that as always you can find in the description, were actually trying to understand how various microwave wavelengths interact with certain biological tissues. And so during their investigation, they came upon a few mathematical concepts, such as the really complex kramers chronic relationship that's often used to assess real and imaginary parts of any complex function, which allowed them to discover a mathematical link between material's absorption and its refraction, while at the same time they focused on the phenomenon known as Lorentz oscillation, where various electrons and atoms start to resonate when different types of photons pass through them. And by using these complex mathematical models, they actually started to predict something somewhat unusual. They discovered that by exploiting this Kramers chronic relationship when it comes to refraction and wavelengths of light, by using certain solutions, it actually becomes possible to dramatically change the absorption and thus diffraction. So basically here they used fundamental optical knowledge to predict that it's possible to create a certain solution that's then going to decrease diffraction and thus increase transparency of certain materials. And turns out that there was a way to make this solution by using something that's easily available. Apparently, using tartrazine, a type of a very safe food dye, it becomes possible to create a solution that suddenly starts to affect diffraction and absorption. Tartrazine, also known as yellow 5, is actually an extremely common coloring agent that all of us have eaten in the past. For example, any candy or any snack that's yellow usually contains it. Or even things like nachos. I just had nachos recently and so I have a lot of that food dye inside of me right now. And so the prediction here was that tartrazine can actually create an effective solution because its molecules are perfectly structured to match the refractive index, preventing the light from scattering, thus resulting in transparency. And so once the prediction was made, it now had to be tested. And the first test was really simple. Tiny pieces of chicken. And well, it turns out that almost right away, the opaque material started to become more transparent, eventually reaching a kind of a orangey color, similar to what we usually find in various foods colored by this dye. But because this dye is also biologically safe and can obviously be applied to living tissue as well, the next target was a lab rat, or I guess technically a lab mouse. And so then the experiments were conducted with living mice. 
And in order to test this, researchers basically rubbed a solution of tartrazine on certain body parts of mice. First this was done with scalp and then abdomen. And like before, suddenly the skin started to disappear and become transparent. And this was done by preventing the scattering of light and thus allowing us to see inside the organs of mice. And so for the scalp, this now revealed blood vessels inside the brain, whereas for the abdomen, it now became possible to see intestines and even the motion of blood caused by heartbeats, with these observations even revealing microscopic scales. But because this was just a solution on the skin, once this was washed off, everything went back to normal. Which literally reminds me of that vanishing cream from Tom and Jerry, although in this case, it obviously doesn't make the organs transparent, only the skin. But it does provide an incredible level of resolution and the ability to see inside organs which can then be used for anything from medical diagnosis to even direct surgery without the use of optical tools. But the fact that this works shouldn't come as a surprise. There are actually some animals out there that evolved this naturally already. For example, the glass frogs or even certain types of zebrafish that very often have transparent skin. Although in this case, this is a more natural adaptation where the scattering is usually done by physically changing the skin itself. Whereas here, the diffractive index simply changes because of the shape of those molecules inside the solution. And because this is completely biocompatible and very safe for pretty much any organism, as well as basically super cheap and very efficient, because it usually starts acting almost right away, once again for medical fields, this is an enormous breakthrough. Moreover, the researchers even predict that by injecting this, it might even allow us to see much deeper within the animal, thus allowing us to visually scan someone without the use of any machinery. No x-rays, no MRI, no scanning technology whatsoever. Just some really cheap dye. And just like with a lot of other food dyes, even though this is technically absorbed by our bodies, any tartrazine that penetrates within the body is eventually expelled through urine. But obviously there is still maybe a bit of a challenge. Human skin. Unlike skin of a typical mouse, human skin is much thicker. Approximately 10 times thicker. And so right now we're still not sure if this is going to work on us. Obviously this has not been tested yet, for very ethical reasons, but it will probably be tested pretty soon. Right now though the assumption is that it should work and there should be no difference whatsoever. And because most of us already consume so much tartrazine on almost daily basis, it's extremely unlikely that this is going to be dangerous or that it's going to act differently from how it acts on mice. And so here it's just now a matter of time. At some point, this is extremely likely going to result in some kind of a new medical technique that will most likely transform medical fields by creating a new, cheap and very effective diagnostic technique. But at least for now, that's all we have. This is just the first such study and the first such experiment, so it will probably take a few months and possibly even a few years before something practical is created and before this starts to be used worldwide. But until future discoveries or until some other breakthroughs in the medical field, that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. Check out all the links in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.